Jonathan and Martha are going to Metropolis for a few nights as it is their anniversary. A woman puts a baby to sleep, a man then enters the room and picks up the baby to kiss it. He tells the kid not to worry and that daddy will be better. Just then, the man starts violently shaking. The baby cries as the mother comes in. The man, Earl, arrives at Luther Corp. He's shaking and drops his medicine. He knocks on the door and calls the cleaner. He says he needs to speak with Lionel as they did something to him at the plant in Smallville. He says it's getting worse. The man tells him off. Earl starts shaking violently again and breaks the door. As Earl talks to the man, he accidentally shakes him to death and then runs off. Clark talks about inviting his friend group at his house. We then see his house packed with people partying. Clark didn't intend it and isn't happy about it. Outside they see fireworks. It is Lex who has organized this. He wants to make Clark's reputation a hit. Martha's calling Clark but he doesn't pick up. Whitney comes to the party and isn't happy Lana's there. As they talk at the bar, they hear some shaking. As Clark arrives, they see someone. It's Earl who's hiding. He says he came to see Jonathan. He's the only one he trusts. As Clark touches him, he's in pain. Earl is then taken to the hospital. The police arrives. They say Earl's in trouble. Earl is shaking. They want to restrain him but are unable. Even Clark's thrown through the window. The next day Clark arrives home and his floor is sticky. It's dirty everywhere. Clark then begins his super cleaning the house. As he's done, Martha and John are standing behind him and are unhappy about the whole situation. Clark says he was at the hospital as Earl was there and he's wanted for murder. He says he got sick around Earl, just like the meteor rocks. The doctor says he has some type of mineral poisoning, that he claims there was an explosion at the Luther Corp plant 6 months ago. She says it never happened. Jonathan wants to talk to Earl but doesn't allow Clark. Earl apologized to Clark for hurting him. Earl says that the killing was an accident and wanted to find out what they were using at level 3 as he was assigned to clean it. They were doing some experiments and the fertilizer exploded which affected him and they shut it down. They needed to know what he was exposed to but Luther Corp said level 3 never even existed. Jonathan doesn't believe it as Earl asks for help. As Jonathan leaves the room, Clark says he has a field trip to Luther Corp plant and he can take a look. He tells him not to do it, but Earl heard this conversation. As Earl's being escorted in the elevator in the wheelchair, he starts shaking. The agent is then unconscious and Earl's gone. At the Luther Corp plant, the kids have arrived. We see Earl who is looking for level 3. He enters a room and starts panicking as he can't find the elevator. Clark sneaks into a room. As Gabe's explaining some stuff to the kids, a door handle starts shaking. As Gabe opens it, it is Earl. He takes him hostage and tells him to take him to level 3. Outside, police and parents have arrived. Lex arrives and lets Martha and Jonathan in. He says that a lunatic has taken people hostage and is looking for level 3. Clark sees on the camera's situation. Clark comes in with some blueprints and says there is no level 3. Earl doesn't believe it and says Clark is just like everybody else. Lionel Luthor arrives by helicopter. He's angry with Lex. He tells Jonathan it's been a long time. Lionel denies that there is such a level. He says he will take out Earl when he makes a mistake. Martha tells him to speak with him. Lionel then tells him to let the people go. Earl starts shaking as he's holding onto a lever. Clark gets hit as he approaches. But then methane gas starts leaking. Earl then blames Lionel. Whitney wants to take him down but Clark says he can't. Whitney makes a move but Earl hits him and then shoots the camera. Lex says he's going in. He then comes in and tells Earl that Lionel doesn't even care about anyone in this room and tells him if he lets everyone go, he'll show him level 3. He then releases everyone. He tells Clark that there is no level 3, it's in his imagination. SWAT tells Lionel that they have to seal the building due to high gas levels. Lionel tells him to do it. As everyone's escaping, Clark runs back in. He runs around. Pete says Clark is back inside. Martha tells Lionel to open the doors. He says they're safety locked and can't be opened until the gas levels have gone down. Martha says her son is in there. He says, so is mine. Clark enters the room and sees with x-ray that there is an elevator behind the wall. Earl tells Lex to show him the room. Lex says it's in his head, but then gets hit in the head. Clark speaks over the microphone and says he found it. Earl drags Lex. Clark then closes the broken lever with his bare hands. SWAT says the pressure has gone down. As Earl opens the door, he shows Lex the place. They enter the elevator. Lex tells him that there are only two levels. Earl then presses a black hidden button. As they get out, we see the rooms empty. Earl says there used to be a field of corn where green mist was sprayed on them. He shouts at Lex, but he says they lied to him as well. Clark enters. Lex says he really didn't know about it. Earl says how he's supposed to get better if he doesn't even know what poisoned him. He calls Lex a liar and then points the gun at him. But he then starts shaking violently again. As he holds the bridge, it breaks. Earl and Lex are almost falling off. Clark rushes in, but Lex hangs onto Earl's legs as he falls off. Clark grabs Earl but is in pain. He pulls Earl up and then afterwards Lex as well. As they are on the stable part, Earl starts shaking yet again. They run and the bridge breaks and falls down. Lex says how Clark pulled them up. He says adrenaline. Earl is taken away by the hospital. Lex says his father lied to him but he says he just said that level 3 wasn't on any plans. It was a failed project and they closed it. 
Nile answers a press. Lex says they will provide Earl with the best medical care. He then hugs Lex, but Lex is jealous of the real love Clark gets from his family.